one tribe, a reminder of a place once lived, where real equality and community existed, free from judgment, free from the system of fear and control, a place where connection can lead to possibilities, and a space where creativity has no restrictions, a path through the unknown, not knowing where one's going to end up, but having the faith of knowing things are going to work out, a realization that the ocean is a thread that connects all the lands and all the tribes of people, a feeling of being connected to something greater than one's own singular life, a greater realization that no man is an island, instead a critical piece that makes up this collective consciousness, a part of time where the past, present and future coexist, a place of magic where thoughts become things, a greater understanding that by living in harmony with nature, one gains a healthy mind, body and spirit, a universal space where energy, frequency and vibration merge into one, and a great knowing that together as one, we can make a difference. Welcome to One Tribe. So I want to show you this next picture. That's a river from Google Earth. Every single river, big river, is the same. It's got its main run up along here, and they all feed into the ocean. And I find that ironic that a river looks remotely like a tree. And it serves its purpose for an ecosystem above and below water. They power towns. We need them. There's another one. Just to show you guys the similarity. And we're almost towards the end. But now, we look at this. Our human heart and lung. You can't tell me that doesn't look exactly the same as what you've just seen. And then we get to the final picture. There's your ocean right there. There's all of your rivers coming into it. And here are all of your tributaries coming off. We're not apart from this land. We are a part of this land. All of us. Yeah, getting sucked over the button was um, it was an interesting moment. Probably the most interesting moment I had at the event. I just remember <laughs> I was saw it was close there, and I could feel the water pulling me towards it. And then I had to duck dive, and I went to duck dive, and I kind of ducked over on a boil, but the, so I didn't get deep. And it just like pulled the next one, just pulled me back, and like right on top of it. And I was like, oh no, this is bad. But luckily, I kind of just felt it in my hands and kind of got sucked over the side of it. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a fun day. Long one. Uh, it was just glad to be in the final. And uh, yeah, it was a historical event, you know, for Bells. Uh, fifth year for, for the event for Rip Cole being around too. So yeah, it was a special day. 
for my kids as well. You know, it just uh, feels good to be with them. And, you know, I do it for them. And But first, I do it for God. You know, he's always been blessing me with the most, you know, perfect ways and incredible places. And, you know, got to travel around the world. So it's just cool. But my family, you know, they uh, they make me make me work really hard. And uh, everyone else. That's my <laughs> so brother, brother. That's family. Ah! <laughs> I grew up in a family, you know, that's always been, you know, around uh relationship with God so I've always been taking my faith to the skies and you know like make things happen and yeah it's every time works <laughs> come with variety as well you know like uh, change it up your, your turns your styles and uh, you know just try to go for a crazy air or something like that something that's gonna impress the judges and everyone else you know it's that one time that one second that everything clicks and you just gotta go big you know that's you uh, you need like a big score, a big wave, a, you know, like a crazy score and you just go for it and uh, yeah, you know, and everything works out. Creativity on the waves, I think is, a lot of it depends on the wave and a lot of it depends on your mind. If you just kind of have that open mind and be like, oh, it's okay to do a turn here or here or here or wherever you want to do it, it's fine. And I think extra speed too, speed helps a lot. Um, yeah. Surfing, I think surfing the ocean. I think the ocean actually is such a huge connection, you know, um, in Hawaii and everywhere I travel to, everyone's so connected by the ocean, whether it's for fishing or surfing or body surfing or body wearing, no matter what we're doing in the waves, it's, we all have that connection with the ocean. Happiness for me is taking a step back and slowing everything down and just being like, okay, this is fun, this is cool. In 30 years time, I hope I'm sailing around the world, surfing fun waves by myself. <laughs>
most of my friends are surfers or in the surfing community. And so I would say most of my networks, whether it be friend or business, are through surfing. And you see that throughout the whole community, in particular in Torquay, which is a business and surf community. You know, there's lots of opportunities that have arisen from surfing and knowing people within the surfing community and, and I'm no different to that. What inspires me probably most is people that are unafraid to go for what they want, you know, in their life and then they're unafraid to, to go right when everyone else is saying left to get what they want and to achieve their goal, ultimate goal. I mean, obviously surfing wise, there are surfers that inspire me and that get me motivated to you know, try and be better. But I, I think ultimately underneath it, what's very inspiring and what inspires me is that is, is someone who's is willing to step out on a ledge and, and go for it rather than take a back seat. You know, even down to businessmen, businesswomen and the best of a lot of fields is they've understood what they think is, is right and the best path forward and they've been unafraid to take it. Been unafraid to take risks to get the ultimate reward and that's something that's pretty inspiring. And then that's something that, you know, in, in, in life, you know, you can't please everyone. And that's, sometimes that's hard to deal with. And, but if you can be okay with that and do what you know is right, I think that's something that's that's pretty inspiring and it takes a lot of, like you said, it takes a lot of courage to do that.
I just came uh, down the coast to have a surf and then ended up here on the way back from sawmills and it was pretty impressive how early that guy gets into waves out there. Like, there's a couple of donkers and I couldn't get onto him and then he was coming in from like six metres behind like a magician and just just had this flow straight up like and up so early. It was really amazing. It was a good lesson to be and it was really nice to talk to in the water too. It was good. A good moment. I only caught like four waves today and um, you don't always have to have the best surf every day but when you, you, you watch Cali catch 20 around you and, and um, it's kind of it was inspiring like just to see how good that guy really really is from the water is a bit different than watching it from the TV and from the laptop in your phone like when he takes off right beside he's got something special that guy I guess there's probably one thing that I learnt from my old man and he kind of ingrained into all us rights, I guess, is persistence. And um, yeah, I just never gave up. There was a lot of roadblocks with getting back to where I got to. And um, I still, once I was on tour, I still had to work through a lot, but yeah, I just kept persisting. And, and uh, yeah, still am now, I still want to get better results and better health and yeah. <laughs>